Hi, I'm Holly, and thanks for your time today. I'm not sure if you saw my interviews I did last year. Don't worry, I don't have any dodgy photos with me. So we'll start with a few easy ones to make you feel comfortable. Um, who do you live with? I just live with a friend from home from Clifton. Uh, I live with my girlfriend. I live with my brother and one of my other friends. How big is your fridge? My fridge is relatively big. I um, always have some Coke Zero in there. Um, and then some steak and a few chick chickens. Not, li chicken, not live chicken, chicken. chicken. <laughs> chicken for this. Chicken leg. <laughs> Uh, I'd say I have a pretty normal fridge. Um, I've always got some like ham, cheese, and milk, solid staples. Um, I think I have a standard enough size fridge as well, and I'll go with um, Coke Zero, definitely, hot sauce, and almond milk. Who was your inspiration growing up? I suppose for me, it would have been. Well, it would be like Ronald O'Gara, uh, Brian O'Driscoll. I grew up in England, so there'd be a few English guys like uh, Martin Johnson and that kind of 2003 like World Cup winning team. I can't really think of any, to be honest. Uh, not too sure. Rugby or girls? I'm getting trouble now, this is a <laughs> I'll, I'll go rugby, go rugby professional, straight down the line. Yeah, definitely oh, rugby. Good. Definitely rugby. Uh, on away trips, who do you room with? usually back three players so it could be Matt Ely, Knee or King Keller. Uh, yeah, Chesley is a big eater, Connor Carey. Big eater Shazzy and uh Chesley's <laughs> legs yeah. in the showers. <laughs> Repeat some, yeah. I'm usually with uh, Jack Carthy. Which you prefer, Kettering or Galway? Oh. I've lived in Ket I was born and raised in Kettering. But I've only been in Galway for eighteen months and the weather's probably a little bit better in Catherine, so Catherine edges it for me. Even though your dad has 438 caps for Saints, why did you not start rugby until secondary school? Were you a late developer? <laughs> um, yeah, basically I tried every other sport other than rugby, really. Uh, I was pretty useless at football, and uh, I tried swimming, but I was pretty terrible at that as well. And Rugby was the only thing that was left, really. Where is your favourite holiday destination? A few years ago I went out to Las Vegas and toured around uh, the west coast of America, so that was pretty good. So why are you called Mr. Holiday? Mr. Holiday? <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know anyone that's called me Mr. Holiday. You're, uh, I think you've been given dodgy information. Um, do you have any bad habits? I'm probably not not as strict as I should be on, on my diet and stuff. I'm. Uh, a bit of a snacker, so yeah, I'd, I'd say that's a pretty bad habit. Who's the joker in the team? The guy that I would always go to for a joke is like Dom Robertson McCoy. He's always got kind of like a joke lined up, and uh, he's a pretty funny guy. So. How come you run like a legless giraffe? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say so much legless, you know. I, I'm trying just to, the I'm, yeah, just yeah. the giraffe. Uh, giraffes are pretty quick, you know. So, Kieran, you made your debut in for Connacht in 2012 against Cardiff Blues while still in the academy. What do you remember from that day? Yeah, um, I remember it being a pretty wet and miserable day. Um, I think we lost that game, um, but obviously that was a great time for me, so um shame we lost, but a good day for my crew. Uh, which celebrations then on the longest, the Pro 12 or the Grand Slam? Probably the Pro 12. Um, I think most lads kept going for quite a while. Uh, a few of us had to go off in, into camp. I think we were going to South Africa, but um, I think a few lads there went for a week or two. You have a very posh accent. Was Kirkham Grammar School posh? Uh, not really, no. <laughs> I was only there for two years. How come your nickname is Louisa? <laughs> you don't do that. Uh, I have my <laughs> So I haven't heard that before. Have you ever thought about being a winger? You did a great job many times for Ireland. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind playing a few games for Connacht. It's actually um, a lot less running out in the wing. Um, so I wouldn't mind uh, doing that after Ask KK, maybe. Um, did you not propose to Lauren in Dubai? <laughs> <laughs> Who told you that? Then? <laughs> <laughs> Was that easy? Answer the question. Um, Answer the question. No, uh, I didn't know, um, but I believe if you asked me that kind of similar question you may um you may find out his answer um so Tiernan, what's your favorite playing moment of your career so far 
the final whistle, I suppose, probably the final, just the, the emotion going through that, I suppose, that's probably, probably it for me. Uh, you play Gaelic like your dad, when did rugby win over? Uh, well, I don't know what's good about that now. Um, I was probably around 17, 18 when I kind of decided I'd, I'd stick with rugby, I was in Ross Gray at the time, so there was no get of football there, so I was mainly, that's when I made the decision to go to rugby. Uh, what's your pre-match routine? Nothing crazy, to be honest, I try to just keep, stay pretty relaxed uh, before the game, listen to music, um, yeah, nothing, no, not massively superstitious or anything, so um, just try to stay relaxed and, and kind of focus on the game. What's your favourite song? Pre-game song? Um, probably listen to a lot of Drake or Kendrick Lamar. I hear you play FIFA, what's your favourite team? Uh, favourite team, Man United. And just play a lot of people, yeah. Are any of you into Fortnite? Yeah, actually, there's a lot of the lads in Fortnite. Now you can see it some mornings when they come in, they're pretty tired. So, um, uh, yeah, there's a massive, obviously, it's a, a big thing on at the moment. But I think there's a group of about 15 lads that are on the headphones every night playing it. So, not myself, I'm not into it. Is it, it true that Neasy beat you so bad at FIFA that you cried and had to leave the room? <laughs> <laughs> um, I played Neasy about 20, 30 times at FIFA, and I think he beat me once. Um, but I don't know how he managed to beat me, if you're honest with you. Um, but, <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't, I don't think I start crying now, but I might have stormed out of the room, right? Yeah. I hear you're getting married next summer. Where is that happening? That's right, yeah. Um, in the Amalfi Coast next June, so. Um, can I do a reading? <laughs> you can, of course. You're more than welcome. <laughs> if you didn't play rugby, what would you do? Probably a vet or something. Um, be like, uh, I'd like looking after animals or something. I think I'd be a pretty mean shelf stacker with the hype thing. So, uh, I think that's a career destined for me. Yeah, I'd be something along sport lines, coaching or something like that, I suppose. I'd be passionate about. So there's a big game on Saturday. What will you remember most about John? I suppose the thing with John I'd always remember is his, um, it's just his commitment and his dedication to the game. Um, you know, it doesn't matter what day of the week it is or, or who you're playing that week, it's the same attitude every week when he comes in on a Monday morning. So um, you have to respect that. And it's something I suppose we all aspire to, to, to being like him as a professional rugby player. He never really misses a, a week in training or a game uh, and that's pretty rare for a, for a forward that's kind of getting on to his mid-thirties so you know his professionalism is stands out really. He's been a great leader up there and um, he's kind of a feel like a father figure for people around so um, I think his ability to play every week as well is uh, something that doesn't happen too often so I think he'll be hugely missed around the place. Uh, what do you think you will do when you finish playing rugby? I hear Bristol's a nice city to retire to. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, there you go, John Muldoon's right off to Bristol already. Um, I don't know now if I'll be heading to Bristol myself. I'll probably be heading to America, I'd say now, over with uh, my future wife, so it's my plan. I think I'll, I'll roll with it and see what happens. I haven't thought about it too much. Um, hopefully I've got a few more years of rugby left and a bit of time to think. Again, thanks for your time and best luck on Saturday. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Cheers. Perfect. Oh, Neasy, eh? Oh, Neasy. <laughs> <laughs>